Hey guys, I'm Doug Tarnovi, and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse The Dark Knight Batman. I am super pumped to be taking a look at this guy. You know, I grew up with the you know the Dark Knight trilogy. Like, you know, Christian Bale is my Batman, right? It's, he's just, he's so cool. Anyways, uh, there's a lot to take a look at, so let's take a look at his accessories. The first one's being, he comes with two Batarangs here. Obviously, they're not to scale, but they're still cool to see. Um, I like seeing that a lot right there. Cool. And then he comes with a grapple gun. What? A grapple launcher, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, very similar to the film. I like seeing that. Kind of double barrel kind of thing going on there. Looks cool. Nowhere to put it though, but he can hold it. And then he does come with a trading card, which I freaking love. Um, I think another picture they could have used was the cover of the Dark Knight movie because this is from the third one um dark knight rises but anyways still very cool to see and if you want to read the read up go ahead and pause it now and here is batman and uh, yeah i am in love with this figure uh the head sculpt is phenomenal i think it looks exactly or i mean at least pretty damn good pretty damn close to christian bale um but yeah i like the eyes underneath there Looks very good. Uh, a lot more gray than I think is actually on the costume, but I think it works, right? Um, it works because it kind of brings out the armor a little bit more. Um, so I, I, I like it. Um, he got the shoulder pads, which do get in the way of the articulation. Also, my figure has a bit of a problem. His arm pops off if I try to force the articulation too much. So I've been trying not to do that too much because I don't want to break them, the figure. I wouldn't mind picking up a second copy to be totally honest, but anyways. Um, there is the abs there, and he does have a pretty nice crunch, which is unusual to see with McFarlane toys. But the belt looks great. I think it looks accurate. If we could focus, that'd be great. Here we go. Here's the back of the figure. You can see a lot more armor details and everything, which looks awesome. You can see like the textures underneath the armor there, which is really cool to see as well. He's got the treads. Yeah, man, he's great. I absolutely love this. And I love how the cape's not too big. Ah, oh, it's so good. And he's incredibly articulated. You can get him doing some crazy poses and everything. So that's really cool to see so there is Batman there I am in I'm in awe of this figure I think this is my favorite figure of the year so far um, I, I like right next to it's probably Shazam uh, but we'll see we'll see um, anyways here are some comparisons so here's the Batflick Batman from Justice League Zack Snyder's Justice League I do wish they would make you know a, like possibly Batman v Superman, Batman, like Dawn of Justice, uh, in his regular bat suit rather than an armored bat suit. But here is Robert Pattinson's Batman, which I still would like to get a second copy of this as well because I guess his torso is upside down and he has the collar. But it's still 20 bucks, which is absolutely insane. I'm not, I, I'm waiting for this guy to go on sale. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, there you go. Very cool to see a bit of an evolution there of the movies. And then here is Mattel's Dark Knight Rises Batman. You can definitely see the difference in the height between the two uh, figure lines there. But yeah. Sorry if the focus is a little... Anyway, that's a little better. But yeah. Those look amazing. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do all the good stuff and leave your thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.